Alright class, today we're going to learn how to simplify square roots. So we're going to look at our first example, square root of 54. So the first step is to look at factors of 54. So what two numbers would multiply to give us 54? Anybody? Okay, so we've got one. So let's take a look. So then we come over here and we say, well, we know 9 times 6 is 54. And guess what? Step 2 is keep factoring until we can't factor anymore. So 9 and 6, can we break those down? So 9 becomes? 3, 3. 3, 3, 6 becomes? 2, three. two and 3. Good. Then step 3, to look for pairs. To look for pairs. So that means we take a pair of 3s. And think about this just for a second. What is 3 times 3? Nine. 9. And what are we doing? Square roots. So what is the square root of 9? Mm -hmm. 3. So we get to take that outside the square root. Do we have any more pairs left? Mm -hmm. No. So those stay inside and we <coughs> multiply them. So we end up with 3 square root of 6. So we look for pairs, and then the number goes outside the square root. So a pair of threes, so what number is that? Three? So we put a three outside. Because three times three is nine, and the square root of nine is three, so he's allowed to go outside. And then the no pair numbers. Stay inside. Okay, we multiply both. So two and three didn't have a pair. We don't have two twos. We don't have three threes. So let's say inside the square root, we we'll multiply those, and we get three square root of six. So square root of fifty-four is equivalent to. 3 times the square root of 6. Does that make sense? We're good? Yeah? Alright, let's try another one. So I'm going to leave the steps right here. And let's try to simplify square root of 200. So simplifying the square root of 200, we're going to Look at factors of 200. What are the factors of 200? 100 times 2. 100 times 2, good. So we know 100 times 2 would work. So we've got 100 and we've got 2. And then what should we do? So 100 would be 20 and 5. This one, there's nothing, it's 2 and 1, so we'll just leave it 2. Mm -hmm. Same with the 5 now. So that's just a 5, that's just a 2. 20, 5 times 4. And then the 4 becomes 2 times 2. So now we're going to... Go ahead. Does it matter if, like, because you know for 20, you can also use 20 times 2? Does it matter if you use... You can use 10 times 2, right? Does it matter? It doesn't matter, because then you're going to keep going, and eventually you'll end up with these same numbers, oh. right? Because if we did do 20 was 10 times 2, then the 10 would break down to 5 and 2, and you see we still get oh, okay. 2, 2, and 5. Does that make sense? Good question. So now what do we do? Look, look for pairs. 
So we have a pair of twos. So once we have the pair, the number goes outside the square root. So if we have a square root, this is a pair of what? It's a pair of twos. So two goes outside. Any other pairs? A pair of fives. So what goes outside? Two. Five. Right? These are a pair of fives, so we write a five outside. These are a pair of twos, so we write a two outside. And what's left over? Two. A two. So this becomes 10 square root of two. So the square root of 200 simplifies to 10 times the square root of 2. Now I know some of you are really good at math, right? And you say, wow, Mr. G, that's a lot of work. And I say, you're right. We could have taken a shortcut right here and said, the square root of 100, I know what that is. What's the square root of 100? 10. And we have a square root of 2. Okay. So if you're that good at math and you can see a perfect square, then you could use that shortcut. Square root of 100 is 10, and you got a square root of 2. If not, don't worry about it. Follow the steps. Break it all the way down. Find your pairs. You'll always get the right answer. Okay. Let's try another one. What if we have a number outside to begin with? That shouldn't scare you too much. What are we trying to simplify? Square roots. So what number is inside the square root? So we should look at factors of 128. So what times what is 128? Four and thirty-two. Four and thirty-two. Four times thirty-two would be one hundred twenty-eight, right? Four times two is eight. Four times three is twelve. So be one twenty. Very good. Can we stop there? We need to keep simplifying, factoring. Yeah, we gotta keep simplifying, factor this. Can we break those down? Two times two. Very good. Two times two. Eight times four. And eight times four is thirty-two. These won't go down no more. What about those? Four, two times two, and then four times two. Good. And then look at that. Another four. So we have all these guys. A lot of twos. So again. Look for pairs, pair of twos, two goes outside. Another pair of twos, another two outside. Another pair of twos, another two outside. That's left over inside. What's two times two? Four. Four times two? So we have eight square root of two. But we're not done. What's missing? Victor. Tell me you see it. What's missing? The negative four. The negative four. So just like when we were doing the factoring, we just bring that negative four down and multiply with that. So this becomes negative thirty-two square root of two. That's it. Not too scary. Okay. So the same steps. Take this, factor it. Factor, factor, factor all the way down so we can't factor anymore. Then look for pairs. And then that number, whatever pair this is, that goes outside. Not both of them. Just one. Right? Pair of twos and two goes out. Pair of twos, two goes out. Pair of twos, two goes out. Two left over stays inside. Multiply these. Bring down the negative four. There's your answer. All right? So I'm going to let you guys try this last one. A little tricky, but I think you can handle it. This will be our last example. We'll do our homework. We'll try five.
5 times the square root of 18 times the square root of 4. So go ahead and try that. I'll give you about 90 seconds. Go. It's been about 90 seconds, so hopefully you made some progress. It's okay if you didn't get the answer. Let's go all this together. 18, break down to what? 6 and 3. 6 and 3, okay. What about the 4? 2 and 2. 2 and 2. Anything else here? 2 and 3. And three. The 6 becomes 2 and 3. Good. Any pairs? Threes. Where does that go? Inside or outside? Outside. Any other pairs? <laughs> Pair of twos. Where does the number two go? Outside. Anything left over? Inside. And we had a number out in front. So we put that out in front. So five times two. 10. 10 times 3? 30. 30. So we get 30 square root of 2. Now I know some of you are wondering, you're like, wait a minute, but these square roots were separate. And I say, you're right. But when we multiply mm -hmm. square roots, we just put them together. So it's like if this was God, it was one big square root. So we could just factor them and treat it as one big square root. Okay? That's why I said it's kind of a trick question, but it's easy. All right. Very good.